Hello, everybody. Welcome to Minecraft on the Block. This is... I haven't actually come up with a new name for it yet. By the time you're watching this, I'm hoping that it will no longer be build under the Technic Pack 6 tutorial series. This is the not Technic Pack um, Let's Play and tutorial. I haven't decided the name for it yet. At least at the time of this recording, I may have it named by the time I actually post it. Anyway, the, uh, the idea here is that I'm moving away from the Technic Pack. I have decided to use... Um, as a base, Direwolf 20's custom mod pack, um, and then I've added uh, a few things to it. Well, actually, I've added mo creatures to it. Um, I enabled um, IC2 ores instead of red power ores, and I'll probably be adding a few new mods to it as well, um, although I haven't fully decided yet um, on all of those. So anyway, uh, you can see mo creatures with uh, with snakes, so the newest mo creatures, and this is obviously, we got jungles. This is a a one two five world so anyway very exciting um, I'm having a blast and I'm basically just trying to get back up to the place where we were um, in the previous series so that we can kind of dovetail this with my with my regular um, let's play series so this is going to be kind of a Taggart's season three slash um, tutorial series season whatever so that's where we're at and over there is uh, is the tower that I built and we're going to be doing a lot of work over there with Thaumcraft, and we may get to some of that this episode. Um, in fact, I think we will. But what I want to do is, as I'm trying to get back to the place where we where we were, um, as I build new things that we hadn't done before, I'm going to show. And one of those things is a compressor. So um, the compressor is just a machine block, a circuit, and six smooth stone, right? And the reason we needed that, if you remember, is because... It's required for, let's see, go ahead and put down a piece of wire here. It is required for a lot of the stuff that we want to make coming up pretty soon, um, which is two things. Um, well, it's required for a lot of stuff, but one of the things is, oh, metal alloy. Let's see, alloy these right here advanced alloys i have to put mixed metal ingots in the compressor and the other thing is for coolant cells if i could spell coolant cells you have to take water cells and put those in the compressor okay and we want those for two different things one we're going to do upgrades um, the overclocker upgrade requires coolant cells and this stuff and then the one other thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our furnace into an induction furnace which is going to require an advanced machine block which requires both these and the carbon plate which is raw carbon mesh in you guessed it a compressor so we need three things that we can only get by using a compressor I don't know if you guys saw last time I had my little pet turtle Stanley um, I thought having a shop turtle would be perfect I thought that would be like the perfect pet for a for uh, a shop but he was always in the way like he just followed me around and pushed me <laughs> so in a little shop like that it was kind of annoying so i put him outside and he did pretty good for for quite a while but now he seems to be gone i might roam around and see if i can find him at some point but he wandered off and i don't know where he's at so anyway that's if you saw stanley and i didn't mention him last time that's why all right let's see so we have our compressor and the next thing on the list is probably probably the overclocker upgrade would be smartest thing to do first. So if we look at what it takes to make a, a water cell, we need empty cells and a bucket of water. Empty cells are 410. Okay, so we need, what did we need? A total of three of them. And we're going to want a few of those overclockers. So we can make two of them out of that. And let's go ahead and get some tin going. Um, I'll just throw that stack in the uh, in the master. This is probably going to make a bunch of racket. Except that, do I have sound off or what? Let's see. Oh, oh, good. It's not making a racket. All right. Um, I did turn on the IC2 sounds as well. That's one thing that if you do the mod pack installation from uh, Direwolf, you will have the mod sounds off, the IC2 mod sounds. Okay, so that's going to do its thing. And I guess I'll go ahead and smelt a couple of these. That'll give us nine. We can get three of those cells, which is exactly what we need. So we need... Oh, I forgot. 
I don't need nearly as much because we get a, a ton of those. I forgot about that. All right, so let's see. I should be able to do this. Let's step outside and hopefully don't get killed. Yeah, we probably should go take care of this guy since he's going to cause us issues at some point and stay away from the uh, werewolf. All right, so the way this works is you just take these cells. I don't know, maybe you can just, can you dip these? Oh, you can. Excellent. I forgot. Oh, and I just dipped too quickly and ruined my infinite water supply. So if you're going to do this, you got to do it kind of slow. All right, that's probably enough. we got seven of those. Let's get two more. There we go. Nine empty water cells, or nine water cells. All right. And now we're going to take those and we're going to put them in the compressor. Now this is this is a problem. You put them in here, you can stack water cells, but the output is going to be a coolant cell you can't stack. And I think actually, yeah, I, I don't think I did go into this. So the way to do this, if you want to have this even a little bit automated, like even just like you're going to be standing around the shop doing something else, um, is that you want to have something pumping these out. And so we'll probably do that. You can see that, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not how that works. I don't want snowballs. Oh, the extractor. What a dummy. So we have an extractor. So if you put them in the compressor, you get snowballs. You put them in the extractor and you get water cells. My bad. Let's get one more of those. So I, I don't know why that's a benefit. I guess if you weren't in a snow biome and you needed snowballs, which I'm not really even sure what I'm going to do with. Okay, so this is this will show you. So we get a coolant cell, right? Now it's not even going to do any work until I pull that out because coolant cells won't stack. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, let's throw the snowball in our junk drawer, I guess. And uh, I think we actually... Oops. Tossing stuff around. I used to think that it would be cool to have a, uh, a goat as a shop. Well, actually, I didn't think it would be cool. My son wanted a goat as a pet. And I thought, oh, we'll make that our shop pet. But it's a horrible idea because if you drop anything of value on the floor and he's nearby, he'll eat it. So if you accidentally drop a diamond or a diamond handsaw or something, it's gone. All right, so compressor, yeah, I've got to babysit the compressor. You can see why this is a pain. So what we'll want to do is have this automatically pulled out into a chest. And what I'll probably do is run some um, piping under the floors to do that into a chest that sits over here somewhere. And I'll probably do that before too long. Um, and I'll probably have it pull. I, I may have, well, there's various systems that I'll want to get set up. But anyway, I, I'm actually kind of excited. I like keeping this thing kind of small and the shop. So... I'm going to try to, to keep things compact, and then we'll obviously have, you know, other things like our uh, our auto crafting room and, you know, the power rooms and stuff will be in different buildings, but... All right, so we need uh, an upgrade, and we're going to do the overclocker upgrade, and we need... Elect okay, so we got what we need, I think, for that right now, so we'll make one of them. I'll show you how this works. So, actually, we need... No, we do not have enough of the copper. That's too bad. I could transmute it, but at this point I'm trying to save EMC wherever possible. So let's get that out of here, take our tin dust, macerate a couple of those, put these back up there for now. And we're going to want to do a couple of these. Got to babysit our extractor. So yeah, you can see this. All right, hopefully that wasn't too bad. I just had a frame rate hiccup, so I don't know if you guys actually missed what I was saying, but um, Anyway, I gotta babysit the extractor and, and take care of this business here. So we'll grab our uh in fact, you know what, let me do this. I will pause and I'll be right back once I have everything in place uh to do this. I guess sorry about that. I I know that that last little segment got a little wonky with the uh, the audio because of the... I, I'm I'm trying to do a couple things at once on the computer. I'm trying to upload and process a video and record this one. So if it gets to be a problem, I'll stop. But anyway, I wanted to show you. You can see that this is already working a little bit better. My overclocker upgrade, I went ahead and made one. And I'm going to make another one, um, which we will need a little bit more of this. You can see... Let's see... 
Yeah, you can see that the electric furnace is, is not upgraded yet, but we can actually take this. You can move it around, put it wherever you want. You can put it in there and you can see it goes significantly faster. So we can get a couple more of those and it'll help a lot. So I'm probably just going to do two for now and then we can move them around a little bit as we as we need to. But I just want to be able to speed up this process as I'm trying to work through and get all this stuff going. So let's see. And let's try this again. Okay, so I need some rubber. And we need... I think I have enough. Because I know I got one of those in the extractor. So this should give us what we need. So I need a electric circuit. Electronic circuit, whatever it is. Whoops. Like that. And I need... Oh, I need a couple more pieces of this, I just realized. Let's go ahead and get that. And I know that it's a little... Like I said, the frame rate's a little flaky, but hopefully, because I'm not running around, it won't be bad. Anyway, let me uh, get this and I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. I decided to go ahead... I've made a couple of overclockers already. I decided to go ahead and make a total of four. So what I'm going to do is something like this. I can't even remember... Oh, first I need to make the... Uh, make these... circuits. What else? A couple of refined iron. So I got two of those. And then... I don't remember how to make this. There we go. Okay, so we got a total... All right. Can't stack those, so I gotta put those back in. Got a total of four of those. Okay, now a couple of things I gotta do. I gotta macerate some coal, so I just wanted to show you this process. Now I think I need... I can't remember. Let's see. We need to make uh, carbon. So we want raw carbon mesh, which is raw carbon fiber, which is one, two, three, four dust. And we need... So we need eight dust per mesh, so we need a total of 16 dust. So let's go ahead and make 16 of those. So you can see how it's how slow it's going. We throw the overclockers in and it just blazes through. And I don't think you have to actually split them up. I think if you stack them they're fine. So you can stack various things. You can stack overclockers with all the other upgrades in here as well I think. Anyway, so that'll that'll blaze through that once I get this done. Um, well, actually, while that's going, let's look at the next thing, which is mixed metal ingots, which requires bronze, refined iron, and tin. And bronze, again, takes copper and tin dust. So I'm going to need to get some of that. So let me get let me get all the dust that I'm going to need together, and uh, I'll be right back. Hi right, guys, quick check in. I got my coal dust ready, so we go like this and we make a bunch of mesh. There we go. And that'll give us four of those, and then we go like this, and that'll give us two of the raw carbon fiber mesh, and then we put those in the compressor, and those are going to compress down to carbon plates. And my generator. I, I've been using too much power, so I had to throw some coal in there. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to solve our power issue very soon. I'm probably going to get to that within the next I don't know within the next probably in this episode I won't I'll spare you guys <laughs> having to see it all again but anyway I also got nine of these uh, bronze and let's see I got a little bit of tin I think I need to actually smelt some tin let's see get ourselves nine of those total and you can see the carbon plate kicked out of there so we got two of those and we now just need the tin, and I'll go ahead and show you this. We only need two of them, so we'll go... Oh, I need refined iron as well, so I think we have some. We have five. I'm going to need one more refined iron for this endeavor. Where are my overclockers? We should be using those here. This should blaze through that refined iron. <laughs> there we go. And let's see. I think we should be... You should be good. So if I remember correctly, it's like one, two, th no, wait, one, two, three. Yeah, you can actually kind of see in the picture. It goes refined iron, bronze, 
10. That gives you two of them. Oh, you get two of them, so I only actually needed one set of those. And let's grab our overclockers and put those in here. And throw this in the compressor, and you can see that goes a lot quicker. And that's going to come out with advanced alloy. And then, yeah, this is way, this makes videos way easier to do too, because it's just easy to get the stuff you need. So let's get rid of some of this. Uh, I am going to need more refined iron, I think. Let's see, because we're making a... Man, I can't spell. We're making an induction furnace, and we're going to need an electronic furnace and an advanced machine block, which is going to be a yes. We need one more machine block, and that should be easy. And we're going to need a total of five more refined iron. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This is going to take no time at all. Put those back. Oh, except that we got no power. So this, I, I should probably also mention that the power demands for this, you can see how it just, like if we let that thing charge up, you can see it kind of keeps up. But the power demands when you have overclockers is, is much greater, as you can imagine. Alright, anyway, we need like that, and then we need our other furnace. So is this set to lossless mode? Lossless wrench mode enabled. And which one of these is our furnace? <laughs> That's our furnace. We better get our overclockers. Grab our furnace. And a couple of things we're going to have to do with this. If you're not familiar with the... Let's go ahead and get that recipe. So... Oh! I need more stuff for the advanced machine block. I actually need... Oh no, I have it. I'm losing my mind. I got everything I need, I just didn't know it. There we go, advanced machine block. And now, we should be able to take that put that there. What is this? Bronze? Do I not have enough? Sorry. Keep doing that. Copper. I need more copper of all stinking things. Well, that's alright. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do this. Bronze. I have copper dust. Sorry. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know how much I need, but it won't take any time. So let's throw it in there with our overclockers. And we're going to have an induction furnace. Now, an induction furnace, the way it works is it really slow at first. Um, there's a couple of really cool things. So if you haven't seen it, you're going to be you're going to be impressed. It's it's very cool. Um, but it runs really slowly at first, and then there we go. And then it speeds up, and you can keep it at the highest speed by placing a redstone signal on it. So we'll do that as well. All right, let's see. There we go. Induction furnace. Hyperspeed, it says. That's our get achievement. All right, and then the one more thing we need. I don't know why I put wood up there, but it doesn't go there. All right, so the other thing I need is... I need a piece of cobblestone. That's why I like having a little house. It's not difficult to get around. I'm going to need a redstone lever. I'm going to fix this because I hate, I hate having a lever sitting on top of my induction furnace, but such is life. And actually it won't even work. I'll have to put it on the front, which is going to be super annoying. There we go. So now a redstone is applied to it, a redstone signal, so this heat will actually start to increase. And as you use something, so if we put bronze dust in here, you can actually do two things at once. That's another one of the great benefits, right? You can see how slow it is. If you were to not apply a redstone signal, it would still do this, um, but the heat would go up but in, in, as long as there was something for it to do, work for it to do. And then when it was done doing the work, the redstone signal would um, cancel, and, or the uh, the heat generation would start going back down and it would get slower. So when this thing gets up to 100%, it's just like... Zip, 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 zip. <laughs> that was great sound effects, I don't know. But anyway, it zips by um, when it gets when the heat gets way up there. And I'll show you guys that. Let's see. Well, it's going to take a little while. Anyway, so the idea is that you can actually, you can actually do, uh, it, well, it's like, I don't, I don't know if it's like five or ten times faster than normal furnace. Um, and overclockers help. Um, and you can probably get a normal furnace up to, up to the same speed, but the thing is you can do two at a time. So it's not only that much faster, but you can also do two things at a time. And they can be two different things. So I could put, you know, 
a couple of things of that in there and a couple of things of that in there and it's going to do tin and bronze at the same time. So that's extremely handy. And again, it's going to use a ton of energy. So you can see that we basically sucked up that piece of coal with five things, but it happens a lot quicker. Anyway, so that's what we're working on there. Um, that should that should get us going. That was really kind of what I wanted to get done um, early in this episode. So what I think I'm going to do, this thing's finally going to, yeah, and it takes up a little bit of power every tick. I'm not sure how much, but it takes up some. Actually, it seems to be taking up a lot. That's a problem. You can see that my uh, the solar energy isn't even able to keep up with it. In fact, it's basically exactly as much as my solar <laughs> energy is producing right now to keep a redstone signal on this thing. That's interesting. Yeah, this is not going up at all. As soon as it gets up there, it takes the whole tick. So I think that's changed. I don't think it used to be like that. I think it used to be that it was like one EU or something per tick, but that's a lot. So I'm going to have to do something about that. I'm going to have to change the power source, I think. It's just not going to cut it. So I guess that's my next... Oh, I hate those guys. I'm going to have to get a... I'm going to have to get the weapons mod installed or something. <laughs> Take care of those guys with shotguns. Because I hate them. All right. Um, let's see. That's a problem. I didn't realize that. That has changed. So keeping this induction furnace going is costing us. You can see it's eating up all the energy that I can produce just to keep a redstone signal applied to this thing so that it will work at its maximum potential. All right. Well, I guess that means I got to get hydropower going um, quicker than I had thought. And I think I'll just go ahead and do that. So let me let me get that done. I won't waste any more time with uh, with that kind of stuff this episode. When I come back this episode, we'll do a little bit of Thaumcraft probably. So I'll go get all this taken care of and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but you can see it's actually, it is going up. Um, it kind of goes up and it goes down, but it's it, on the whole, it's kind of steadily climbing. And so I don't know if something, I, there may be some weird bugs going on, like when you first play something. But anyway, what I decided to do, grab a little bit of dirt. You know what I haven't made yet is I don't even think I have them. Um, uh, oh, scaffolding, I do have them. So you can make iron scaffold and regular scaffold, and that's I wonder what I don't know what mod that comes with. But anyway, iron scaffold. I don't know what you'd make iron scaffold for except for it looks awesome. Um, maybe you can wood scaffold. You can only uh, extend out three from wherever the base is, so that might have something to do with it. Anyway, let's go give this a shot. I just oh so anyway, I decided to instead of having to deal with the actual problem, I decided to make. Um, just make a couple more solar panels because I think that will suffice short term. So I'm going to put this one, let's see, right there. There we go. And this one right here. And this will pretty much, I'll pretty much do it for our little solar array up here. I don't, I haven't made provision for additional power up here, but I could Put another one over here on this side if I needed to, but uh, what's going on here? Oh, I think I actually started. That's hilarious. I need to finish this. I started this to see what I thought it would look like, and I liked the look, and then I never finished it, so I'm going to finish putting this around the top. Just basically, yeah, right through there. So I'll do that off camera, but let's go see how our power situation is coming now. I think we're much better off. Oops, I think it'll at least, like I said, it'll at least solve the short-term problem. And it's way easier than me going and dealing with the, uh, whoops, than me going and dealing with the, yeah, this thing's at 100%, so watch this. Look at that. <laughs> Can't even keep up with it. So, and this thing is now cranking up. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be doing pretty good. It's still not, I mean, it's not great, but this thing is definitely eating power. And it's almost like as it, when you use it, it's worse. I don't know. And the, with the overclockers are, okay, so the, oh, and see, it's going to be eating power all night. I just realized that. So it's just going to like, yeah, that's tough right there. Look at that. It's taken quite a bit every time it 
every time it updates. So we're going to make sure that we don't do too much <laughs> stuff at night. Anyway, okay. So I'm going to have to solve that problem. Absolutely no doubt about it. And it's going to be a pain. But short term, I think we can at least live with it. So I'm going to let that go. And we could really just turn this off, but then the furnace becomes completely useless to us because it's so slow. I was going to do one more overclocker as well, actually. Let's see. Does that get us what we need? I think so. Let's see. An overclocker is... I need more bra or, uh, copper, which I'm totally out of. It's amazing how quickly once you can start using stuff and then you... Whoops. I don't want to put that in the furnace. That was almost a bad idea. Put them in here. Once things start going this quickly, how fast you start using up uh, ores and whatnot. So, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I, again, I'm just rambling on. I'm going to go ahead and get everything kind of settled over here, figure out what I'm going to do. We are going to have to get a core going, but uh, you guys have seen me do that, so I'm going to do that offline. I'll get all of this uh, worked out, get another overclocker just for fun because I wanted to have one more, and then we will go back over and start just playing around with a little bit of Thaumcraft and then we'll call it a video. Uh, I think we're getting pretty close to about the 30 minute mark. So anyway, I have changed my timer to go to 30 minutes for all you that were talking about why I didn't do that. I just did it for fun because I used to have an 18 minute timer and then when my episodes went longer, I just kept it. But anyway, that's why I do it. So uh, I will, like I said, I'll go get this taken care of and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I found Stanley and I'm pretty sure he's bigger than he was. I don't, I mean, do these, I, he has to be, right? He's huge. If I go look at other turtles, I mean, he's huge, but he was getting beat up pretty badly by a piranha. Um, he was in the water and I saw him because he was, I, I was like, his name didn't show up because he was too far away. And so I was like, well, I wonder if that's him. I, Cause he just looked bigger than the rest of them. And so I'm pretty sure he's huge anyway so he's back and he's alive he probably needs some food whatever he's definitely in the way now but i think that's crazy i didn't know that they grew and he has obviously grown anyway um i wanted to also we're going to do a little bit of work um and we'll, okay so so this is what we're going to try to get to we're going to try to get to a a viz infuser or no what is it called a viz condenser maybe i think this is the thing a viz condenser which will pull viz just out of the air and i'm pretty sure that's what we want but you can see that we have to have these enchanted wood <coughs> the enchanted wood is going to require uh what is it a uh, infuser or something like that yeah the thaumatic infuser which we can make we can make one of these we have some crystals and some iron and some smooth stone and then the other thing we're going to want is uh what is it a crucible yeah we're going to start with the base crucible which is going to be a condenser a cauldron and a furnace and that's all stuff we can get so we're going to need a little bit of iron man you see he just pushes you around it just drives me insane all right so we got some iron let's just go ahead and do these up right let's see take i went ahead and made my additional one of these so let's macerate these down real quick um and some smooth stone what all do we need? Iron. Furnace is easy. Some of that. Okay, so anyway, this will get us... Oh, and then the one other thing we need is conduit. Viz conduit. And that's just going to be wood, redstone, and glass. Okay, so I think I can get all this. So let me get all these pieces together, sleep, so that we don't lose our daylight, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. I think I have everything I need. So let's start with a crucible. All right, we need a cauldron and a furnace. I went ahead and made the furnace. The cauldron is easy. Like that. Cauldron, furnace, and a crystal. Is that right? There we go. And that's the base crucible. There will be additional crucible of eyes. This one allows a redstone signal, I think. This one, let's see. That's interesting. I'm not getting crafting recipes for those. Huh. It's going to be a problem. Anyway. So, oh, maybe that's because I have to have the uh, the special table. I forgot. So for any upgrades now, you have to have the special, basically the crafting table that is that is for um, Thaumcraft. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. 
Um, there's that. What was next? We needed the uh, infuser, I think, right? Which is a very cool looking device. All of these devices are cool, which is why I'm really excited about our tower. All right, so stone slab, some stone. Here's our timer. All right, 30 minutes is up, and so we'll, we'll make this quick. Anyway, so let's put that on there. I think a stone slab should be easy enough, right? I only need one of them. Stone slab. What's it trying to tell me? That those are the options that I can use? And let's see. Iron. And a vis crystal. There we go. And that's the thaumatic infuser. And then finally, man, I'm telling you, that stinking turtle is going to get thrown out again. Um, we need the uh, conduit, which is redstone, wood. Do I have enough wood? I do. All right, so wood. Let's go ahead and make 16 of them. I'm not sure how many we're going to need. I just happen to have some of those glass panels laying around. There we go. So we'll get 16 of these conduits. And this this stuff looks... I mean, they, he did an amazing job on the upgrades for this stuff. I'm just really impressed. Um, and then, let's see. I cannot remember the other stuff we need. There's like... I wish I could remember the crafting table. But really, what now what's required is research. So let's see. We got the Viz pump, the crucible... Void chest, let's see. The infuser, the dark infuser, the enchanter. This thing, the quasitum, whatever it is, quesitum or something, um, is actually for research, I believe. And then restore the condenser we definitely are going to want, but we have to have the wood, which we're going to need. So we'll take some wood with us. I think we're getting close. Let's take some wood and some crystals. Well, we need some stuff to throw in. Well, this is what we'll do. Um, we'll just get set up with this. This will be a good start. I'm supposed to be sleeping, so that, oh, there's monsters nearby. That's great. Yeah, you can see this thing is sucking out energy, so we're going the wrong direction. You stay in there, Stanley. You're... Yeah. The uh, rats in the nether, I always think that's crazy. Oh, crud. The rats in the nether are so stinking huge. They're, like, gigantic, those rats. One more and you should be down. There we go. You guys are just really annoying when I'm trying to fight creepers. Seriously, somebody's going to sneak up on me and blow everything up. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Alright. And yeah, our tower looks pretty awesome. Down there is where we're going to do all our work. Let's see. Can we sleep now? Yes. Okay. So, oh, I need to eat too. Alright, so I think we're getting... We're getting close to the end of this one. We'll just go place this stuff down, or at least, well, see, and this is some stuff. We need to take all this junk, the zombie brain. That's what you get from those crazy-looking zombies. Um, yeah, there's just a lot to uh, lot to take in as far as Thalmcraft goes. we got some crystals. We're going to have to bring all that stuff over. What I really want to do is make a crystal chest over there. I think that'll be really cool. So let's run over there real quick. There's a creeper over there. That's great. I would do this with the uh, portal gun, but it seems to cause lag, and lately it's caused lag even after I close the portal. So I don't know if I just need to reboot or what, but it's been causing me grief, so I haven't used it while I was recording. All right, so let me just kind of show you guys what I've got going on. I don't think we've done any tour of this. So I basically just laid a base. I was trying to, I just, I started playing with, a lot of times that's what I do. I'll just start playing with an idea, and I wanted a tower that was sitting on some sort of a base, and that had kind of a, not just a square look to it, so this is just kind of, you know, has the angles. It's almost as close as you can get to, like, round or, what would it be, octagonal? No, whatever it is, hexagonal, I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, um, and and then I start, you know, just kind of getting up, and, and at first I wasn't really happy with the black because the black is, is awfully flat, but um, I knew that I was going to want to add some decorations to it. So anyway, once I got the nether brick and the and the white pillars and stuff on there, it looked pretty nice. So anyway, that's just, those are posts turned into pillars um, using red power. So you, you cut it down into posts, well, into slabs and then into posts, and then you put the posts in and they turn into pillars. So that's what this is. And these are whatever the equivalent is. I, maybe post is wrong. Anyway, the equivalent of the smaller one, the next step down. And then this is just uh, nether, f nether brick fence. 
And yeah, that's that. So anyway, I kind of like that. And then from inside, and this is my stairway down, but from inside, I think it looks really cool. I want to do something up there at the top, um, like maybe hang a chandelier or something down in here that's kind of a crazy looking dark chandelier. But I also really kind of wanted, I was going to put a library on the second floor, but I'm so happy with the way it looks from in here. I don't want to mess it up. Um, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that or not. My my thought now, um, and then this, yeah, so this is this is the staircase, and then this is kind of cool. I just used the red power stuff again to make these, make these things, and I kind of like the slat look. It's not perfect, but... And then the windows. I think you guys have seen some of this, but just kind of the the lamps. And then this is where I put the I put the uh, nether gate. And here's our enchant or our uh, transmutation table over here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all the Thaumcraft stuff. I'm starting to use a lot of space. I just realized. <laughs> so I mean, I made a pretty big area. But what I'm going to do for the library. Maybe I'll make all of that stuff kind of be in here. I wanted to make a white room because this thaumatic stuff or this uh, thaumcraft stuff is is kind of cool looking. It's darker and, and cool looking, so I wanted it to really be a, a high contrast. Oh, I was going to put a bed down over here as well. So anyway, I'm my thought is that I'm going to basically wall this off. Let's see. I'm not sure. I think what I'm going to do is dig back further here maybe and make my well make my library over here and then uh, any of you guys that watched my original series where i just did it was vanilla minecraft and i was building a castle and stuff one of the things i did was a uh, for my enchanting room i had a library and then within that library there was a hidden door where the bookcases would would part and you would go into the actual enchanting library which you know you want it surrounded by books well the same is true for the stuff that you do in thaumcraft you want to be surrounded by books it's similar um, you get better bonuses to your research when you're surrounded by bookshelves so i'm going to do that same thing um and i'm going to do it with with uh with doors like i did with the hidden doors so i was thinking about maybe making my library back here um which means i'll have to probably kind of expand this a little bit and move these uh move these lights chandelier or whatever candelabras i don't know what to call them so i'm not sure but yeah, so I just don't know what I'm going to do with my Thaumcraft stuff. I guess we can just put it down and get started. So, so this, see, this is this is why <laughs> this is why I'm not good at mixing tutorials and let's plays. So you guys are just going to have to be patient. But what I what I would like to do is figure out where to put it. Um, let's do this. I'll just throw it down. Well, do I have anything on me to make this interesting? I guess I do. So let's put it here. Is that <laughs> um. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start working with it over here. The condenser will eventually go there, I would say. And then it will feed into the crucible. No, there'll be tanks. So, I don't know. We'll pick this up probably, but I'm going to put it there. You can see it's kind of got a cool little green spark coming out of the bottom. And the way this works is you dump stuff in there. So if we take some cobblestone, we're just going to dump Let's just dump one piece in. So you can see it gets eaten up, and it's really not worth very much. But you can see it's just starting to produce some of the viz. And when you dump stuff in there, it produces viz and taint. So that's one of the new things. The It's gotten a lot more complicated, this whole Thaumcraft thing. So now, if we dump a bunch of stuff in there, well, not a bunch of stuff, but all the cobble we have, it'll eat all that up. And so now we have some viz and some taint in there, right? So now we can put this thing down right here and this thing is very cool it takes it takes viz and taint for various things um, to actually do the work um, and then we need to put a conduit between them like so and that's where the viz will travel right so that's like the thaumatic electricity and so now if I could only remember how to get it's something like a crystal and a piece of wood but there's no way I'm going to remember this. How do I, how do I do this? Maybe put it in the middle. Maybe I just don't have enough. Let's see. Let's put a piece of wood in there and let's dump some wood in the. Let's see what that's worth. Put five pieces of wood in there. Does that help? I thought it was like a, a crystal and a... 
Let me go figure this out. This is this is going to be a waste of time. I want to get the wood infused, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm pretty sure I had it right. I just didn't have enough viz. So I think what I'm going to do is throw a piece of iron in there and just see. Whoa. That was lucky. <laughs> well, not lucky, but there we go. So that, you would think, would have done well. See, I don't know how to tell how much viz is in there. But let's see. So we should be able to tell once we get... We're supposed to be able to use a crystal and a piece of wood, and that should work. Now, it looks like this is set up correctly. It's just not flowing. I think I, I really think I've got it right. Let's see. It's not that complicated, if I remember. Oh, I know what it is. I need actual wood. I just realized. You can't use wood planks. I'm sure you guys were yelling at the screen. Let's see. Except for I probably don't have actual wood over here. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, let me just go get some actual wood and I'll be back because I don't think I actually taught that to my transmutation table. I'll be right back. Alright guys, just got back traveling through my portal, which is handy. We'll get automatic portals set up here before too long. But I got some wood off my transmutation table and I think we'll have more luck with this. There we go. You can see that we didn't have quite enough viz to get it done. Um, and there's taint left in there. So let's put a couple more pieces of iron. I hate to do it. Let's see, what about redstone? Is that... Close. Uh, really close. One more piece of iron will do it. Actually, maybe even a piece of wood. Let's just see. I love the effect, though. The viz going across it. It has a nice lighting effect to it. What about a piece of wood? close. One more piece of wood will do it. There we go. So we got four enchanted wood, which is what we wanted. And we've got the uh, the viz running. You can kind of see. I just I love the effects. He's done a great job. He or she. I don't even honestly couldn't tell you. Okay, so the next thing we need is the infuser, which is right here. No, the condenser. So we need three pieces of wood, two pieces of iron. Uh, I think we have almost all of that, except for the crystal. Amazingly enough, which I was just over there. So let's do this. I will uh, go get that and be right back. Alright guys, back again. I'm going to close the portal if you're wondering why, because it just causes amazing lag, which I'm already having a little bit of trouble with. Okay, so I think I have what I need now. I think what we need to do to make this thing is the ingots, the wood, the crystal, and the that thing. Except I must have messed up. There we go. Alright. And there's our condenser. Okay, so the way this thing works is it pulls energy right out of there. It's almost like an energy condenser in a way. I think it'll put it into the, well, crud. I think we need viz tanks. That's what we really want. I just saw them. Right there, thaumium reinforced tank. Oh, that's reinforced. I probably don't need the reinforced. Let's take a look. viz storage tank. So I need more wood and those. And I actually have that glass, except I only have two. And I can't teach my table that. Okay, well, you know what? I think this is what we're going to do. I am... This is, this is good. It's not going to hurt anything. I'll just put that down, and then we'll show you this. So, now... Wait a minute. Ah, yes. And I forgot a crystal. This is where we'll start next time. Basically, I have to place a crystal in here, and it will turn into a depleted crystal. But it will—you'll see a crystal just kind of floating up here, and that thing will just work it. That's how the the viz is drawn out of the air. Now, a couple of things I, I wanted to just mention this, and then we'll go. So this is—I'm getting really long in this episode. Um, one thing I noticed: I had started another world. It was a test world before I started actually doing the series, just to make sure the the mods were installed correctly. I walked. I spawned, walked into a forest. And right away I saw this big giant blue tree. And it's like a silverwood tree or something like that is what it turns out. And I was like, oh, that's cool. There was like three or four of them. Well, apparently they only um, spawn in places where there's extreme or or significant viz aura, like a really strong viz aura. And so I haven't actually seen one in the walking around I've done in this world. So I thought maybe they were just kind of common. I didn't think anything about it. Well, um, 
that's just something to think about is that if you can find a place where there's those trees growing, it means that that's a pretty, it's a really good, strong aura and it overcomes the, the taint or whatever, the evil stuff. So anyway, the point is that we will be somewhat limited to how much we can produce out of the viz condenser um, based on the aura of the, the area that we're in. And if we take a bunch of the crystals and stuff away, the aura depletes, right? So I haven't actually been taking the crystals that I find in mining. I've been leaving as many of them as I can. So anyway, you guys get the idea. So there's that's taint down there. That's what's left over. And taint will flow through the pipes as needed by the table. And I think this is a good place to stop. We have a lot of work to do. Um, moving forward with our with our Thamcraft stuff and we'll probably get a little bit more into it next time but yeah but we got a good start and i really do like the the look of the the dark Thamcraft stuff on the uh especially this table it's very cool looking um the dark kind of Thamcraft stuff contrasted with the white that's kind of why i did it so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it thumbs up if you did um next time we'll we'll probably i'll have a little bit more power issue resolved and we'll kind of move on but um yeah, for now, I think we're I think we're doing pretty good. So, again, thumbs up if you liked it. Please leave comments and let me know what you think and what you'd like to see. I read them all and I will respond. And uh, tell your friends. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll talk to you soon.